Time to play with some clay. All right, this is uh, the clay right now, so I'm going to be working on uh, him. I need to get him, um, his uh, hat on. I'm not going to show that because there, there's a particular way I do it, and I will uh, have that on the instructional video. Uh, I'm not going to have it here. Um, I'm going to start working on his clothing. I've got, uh, let me go through my stuff here. Yeah, there we go. I'm thinking about this uh, outfit here. I did a search on Google for Pioneer clothing, and that's what I came up with. Uh, nah, that's more of a minstrel type stuff, but this would be work kind of clothing that uh, they may have worn. I don't know if he'd have the, well, he probably would have the necktie on, but he probably would have had it looser. Uh, something could have crossed his face when there was a dust storm or something like that. But anyway, I'll uh, figure all that out as I work on it. I'm thinking about putting a blanket on him and over her. And I'm not going to put it over her as far up as I thought I was going to. Of course, I could change my mind. You never know. Um, but I'm going to have it coming down and have his arm exposed. And then going underneath the uh, blanket, pushing it up against... Uh, or across his chest and up against her. So it just would add to the design, but it would also have, free up this arm here to, with a sleeve and everything like that. And I think that, that roomy sleeve would look dynamite. I just gotta figure all that out. But I'm gonna get started on this and we'll see how far I get. All right, I've put his hat on, his head. This is gonna be the last thing I do today. Tomorrow I'll start on his clothing. I wanted to get this hat just right, so it took a little time to do that. And uh, all I'm doing now is trying to get some character into it. Now I can put his, start doing his hair, but I'm going to wait to do the hair until I get uh, his shirt going and his uh, suspenders. I'm trying to give the hat a worn look like it's uh, been used to slap a oxen or two during the time I've been on the trail, caught in rainstorms, run over by the wagon because of a windstorm and it took boot off his head, and maybe it fell underneath the uh, wagon wheel of a wolf of somebody's wagon. <laughs> you, you can make up all kinds of stories of what happens on a trail or on a story of a, the piece you're working on. And I like creating a story. That's the difference between modern art and uh, representational art. I'm creating a story. It's like writing a novel, but without words, just with shapes and uh, all that stuff. I'll uh, work on the uh, brim a bit more before I'm done with this piece. I'm going to let the clay kind of set up. It's uh, not to that point yet.
I'm just experimenting with his hair right now. Kind of like that. All right, that's going to be it for tonight, and I'll come back uh, manana and work on it a bit more. I'm liking where it's going. Just want a little bit more of a dip right there. I'm going to keep playing with it. I like the uh, size of the brim. It's not too big. It's not uh, flamboyant. It's just keeps the rain off his head and the sun off his face. And that's the uh, primary reason. They, back in the old days, they'd use it to, to drink out of, to protect themselves from the rain and to give water to their horse. Use it for a lot of things. All right, good night. See you next time. Please give me a like and a subscribe and ring the little bell. Also, don't forget I have instructional videos available now online. The link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos. Later, everybody. Good night.